menopause can start in women as early as their mid 30s. Yes, that is hard to believe. And when people are experiencing those hormones, those drops can be given. And some of those drops include estrogen, testosterone, and progesterone. With that treatment, though, comes a lot of unwanted symptoms. This next Ask the Medical Expert segment has been sponsored by the U.S. Women's Medical Center. And joining me this afternoon is nurse practitioner, hormone specialist, Derek Lambert. Derek, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Chelsea. You're welcome. I just kind of broke down <laughs> and gave you a long intro, helping so many women with perimenopause symptoms. But for those who don't know about the U.S. Women's Medical Center, what do you guys do? Well, you pretty much <laughs> hit the nail on the head there, but we are a menopause and perimenopause specialist. Um, you know, menopause starts when estrogen declines in women. And so what we do is we simply replace the three major hormones. In my opinion, the biggest one is estrogen. Mm -hmm. And as estrogen declines, what we do is we simply replace the estrogen. We don't use antidepressants. We don't use these um, synthetic treatments that have all these horrific side effects. So we are a menopause and perimenopause specialist. Nice, and we need those specialists. I mean, these are just a few of the symptoms that women experience when they're going through menopause. And everyone thinks these are normal. They're actually not, right, Derek? Well, they're normal at, as your estrogen decreases. Mm -hmm. But what's not normal is, you know, we know as a medical community that women will lose estrogen as they age. Mm -hmm. We know that estrogen has over 400 functions in the body. We all know this as a medical community, so it behooves me to think, why will we not replace this estrogen mm -hmm. as women age? It is not okay for women to live life having night sweats, hot mm -hmm. flashes, mm -hmm. irritability, maybe that, that perimenopause weight gain. It's just not okay for women to do that and it can be easily treated by just replacing the hormone. Nice. Now, when we replace the hormone, what does that look like when someone comes to you? Well, what we do is we use bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, which is key, and we use topical form. So that is the safest and most effective way. Um, I really caution women that have oral estrogen. Um, that is the worst estrogen you can take. Most of my female patients are pretty well versed or well educated. They do their own research. They find these side effects like breast cancer, stroke, um, blood clots. Wow. That's all very true, but if you take the wrong estrogen, which is oral estrogen and the synthetic estrogen patches. Absolutely, so you guys are doing it and doing it the right way, right. which is really important. Now, if someone is at home and they're watching and they say, oh my gosh, the U.S. Women's Medical Center can absolutely help me, do you guys take insurance? That's a great question. We still, yes, currently take insurance, including Medicare. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's a, a big a big plus uh, that we do. We, we try to strive to use everyone's health insurance. So yes, we do accept all major health insurances, including Medicare. Nice, and I can tell that you are passionate about yes. this, Derek. I mean, why is it so important for you to help so many women who are experiencing these uncomfortable symptoms day in and day out? So one of my favorite statistics is, you know, estrogen has over 400 functions in the body. A lot of those objective symptoms, I think, are, you know, night sweats, hot flashes. For me, um, the biggest contributor to estrogen is brain health. And there was a recent study last February. Um, they looked at like 15,000 women. Half of women were on estrogen, half of them were not. The ones that were not were at a greater than 50% chance of getting Alzheimer's and dementia. Wow, that's, yes. that's pretty scary. It's, it's pretty um, eye-opening, yeah. if you ask me. A very startling statistic, and I can tell you want to help women. Yeah. You want to make sure that we are getting those estrogen levels to a healthy place, to a space where they need to be, so we can fully function as women, especially going through perimenopause and menopause. So St. Louis, if you're at home and you're watching and you're interested in learning more about the U.S. Women's Medical Center, they are here for you. They're located in St. Peter's off of Jungerman Road. You can give them a follow on Facebook. You can give them a follow on Instagram, or you can simply pick up the phone, give them a call, 636-244-5333. So many women are being helped by Derek's approach at the U.S. Women's Medical Center. And we'll make sure you have access to all of their details online on our website at uswomensmedicalcenter.com.